on this episode of Cash and Kari. Where are you at price-wise? A church estate sale promises to drive up the proceeds with a car, an entire living room set, and a French-style settee. And a unique 19th century item could bring good fortune. It is unbelievable. Then Kari breathes new life into an old relic. I can't wait to see what Stephanie does with it. And this vintage ride gets an updated look. So the mechanics need some love. I'm Kari Cuxie, and I run estate sales. Whether it's a simple bungalow or a grand mansion, there's always a hidden treasure. I also buy out entire homes, refurbish just about anything, and run my vintage store here in Michigan. I'm a treasure broker. I give dusty relics a new lease on life and make great deals in the process. Sold. Kari's on her way to meet Anne and Shelley, who want to hold a fundraising event at their church. Their father is the pastor, and he and his wife are donating their antique collection. Kari has decided to donate her services for free. So here's our back space. <laughs> okay. And what's for sale in here? Um, right here, we do have this buffet that's for sale. Also, this table, these tables and chairs here. So it's got a couple of leaves. It needs a little love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a project for somebody. OK, so on to the conference room. Conference okay. room. Oh. Our parents love furniture. As you can see, there's two separate living rooms here. Oh, wow. So it continues from out there yeah. into, into here. here. This is a nice table. Gorgeous. It's a reproduction, but it's still a very nice piece. It's been used a little bit, but that's okay. It's still nice and worthy of putting in the sale. Okay, great. So. This is a settee. It's French provincial, mm -hmm. all carved. You know, in an antique store, this would bring about, you know, somewhere in the $800 range. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Now, you said that there was more here. Our church used to be a warehouse. Yeah. So okay. once we converted everything, we have this long ramp here, and we just put we just everything kinda, we just kinda, toss everything you know, on here. the ramp. Are you guys ready? Have a flashlight or something? <laughs> this is a ramp. Wow. wow. All right, flashlights definitely are needed. How long have you been collecting stuff in here? Well, we probably for about 10 years. So there could be all kinds of treasures in here. Yeah. yeah. OK. You never know what you will find on this ramp. Excellent. Long lost members. Yeah. Long lost members. <laughs> oh, lots of furniture. A lot of furniture. We've got couches. We've got a wingback chair, mattresses. Do we have some extra help? We actually did ask some people to come out to help move some stuff off the ramps. Excellent. All of the items in the sale have been donated by the pastor, generous church members, and local businesses. With Kari donating her services, this sale is set to raise over $3,500. But before Kari gets started on the sale, she wants to purchase one treasure for herself. She's going to meet with someone who has something she's been hunting for years. Kari had a twin bicycle as a kid and has been wanting to get her hands on one forever. Hi, Andrea. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. All right, so this is the infamous green twin. Yep. So you mentioned it needs a little bit of love, right? Like maybe the brakes have to be redone. Um, I think there's a lot of things that need to be redone on it. Okay. I haven't really inspected what actually works and what doesn't. What are you thinking price-wise? Um, between 75 and a million. Between 75 and a million? <laughs> I like the 75. Are you cool with 75? Yeah, yeah that's fine. All right, perfect. That's great. I've been looking for a green twin for a long time. The mechanics need a complete overhaul, but the paint color is exactly what Karg has been looking for. Back at the church, volunteers are arriving to help set up. Kari and the team will need to dig out, organize, and price everything properly before the doors open tomorrow. Obviously, we're going to put all the holiday stuff together, all the household stuff together. We need to group all the furniture together, and then we're going to go through and price. OK, guys, let's do it. Wow, the energy here is awesome. All these helpers. I'm ready to hire them for some estate sales.
I'm gonna put 250 on each and then we can kind of negotiate a little bit. Like $45 piece. Okay. They need to be real postered. We'll put a thousand on it as the starting point and then we'll just kind of negotiate. Let's put a thousand or best offer. Okay. 25. 25. 20 bucks, 10 okay. bucks. How about the slushy machine? A little project. How about 40? 40? <laughs> so I can't leave without uh, purchasing this amazing cart. So I'm thinking somewhere in the range of maybe 200. For this car? $200? Okay. Yes, absolutely. You know what I'm gonna do with it? But... I'm gonna refinish it and make it a coffee table. Awesome. a lot to us. It's kind of like this big weight has been lifted off of us because this ramp has really been weighing on us for years now. And there's one more item the girl's father wants to donate. That's been my little baby for a long time. Did you not want to get rid of it? No. no. <laughs> it's just time to get rid of some of those things. Pass it on. Maybe someone else could enjoy it. We're going to do our best to sell it for you. Okay. <laughs> this can be an ongoing a project that can help the community as well as our church members and bring about unity. With the help of the church volunteers, everything is set up in time for the sale. Good morning, Hi. ladies. Good morning. How are you? Welcome. Come on in. You can change it around. That's right. It's very versatile. Mm -hmm. All your proceeds here today, what you're buying, goes right back. That's wonderful. I've seen a settee over there without a sale. That one is actually like our showcase sale piece for this church sale. Okay. All right, I'll go ahead and look at it. It's then. been reupholstered. It's mm -hmm. gorgeous. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. Do you like it, honey? I love it. The wheels are turning. <laughs> what do you think she should do? I think she should get it. This church sure. supports so many young families with young kids. See, how can you say no to that? Yeah. I, I really have to think a few okay. more minutes. There's no pressure. She's pondering about it hard, so let's see what let's see what happens. Then you Do you want to negotiate a little bit on that city? Then you return at 9:30. Deep breath. <laughs> what are you thinking? How about eight? matches nothing in my whole house. So, uh -oh. so I know it's a really good cause and I'd hate for somebody to, you know, that really matches their house and is perfect. Sure. Then it would, you know, really benefit the church and the people. Thank you. That's fair. Okay? Great. <laughs> Kari was close to selling the settee, but in the end, the customer decided to pass. Kari will drop the price to generate some new interest. Is there some place we can plug it in and see if it yeah. actually... Yeah. Do, do we have a little over here? No, is there an Should on and off switch? switch? Oh, right here. Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> that scared me. I got two small kids and it'd be kind of a neat novelty item to have something for, you know, for birthday parties or whatever. Are you going to bring us slushies when you get that refurbished? Well, I'll have, have everybody over to the house because they'll melt by the time I get them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the interior is just amazing. Cool. How are you? Good. How are you? I came to see that fireplace mantle. All right, it's right over here. Is there a price on this? What you know? Like, do you have a? It's one fifty. One. Perfect. And this is cool too. I want that. Yeah. For sure. So I'm thinking like fifty on that. This one's fifteen. These are cool. How about ten bucks a piece? Excellent. Three eighty, Kathy. Mm -hmm. Great. It's going to a good cause. So all these pieces that I'm getting, I'm going to refurbish and um, repurpose and, you know, resell. Curry and the team are well on their way to meeting their goal of $3,500. They sold over $1,500 by the end of day one. The workday isn't over for Kari. She's off to see an appraisal customer, Carolyn. She has an antique Asian bed that she needs an expert to take a look at. Oh my gosh, Carolyn, this is breathtaking. I mean, it is un 
believable. There's inlaid pearl. It's, um, it's exquisite. It's awesome. So this is actually a wedding bed, and the family would start making this after their, uh, the children were engaged, right? Right. You just imagine what the, uh, like what the stories are, what this bed has seen, you know? And aren't these all little scenes? To, isn't this a depiction of the family and, and what they've gone through? Right, these are scenes of mothers and daughters, fathers and sons. There's courtier scenes and battle scenes. They're all hand carved with inlaid pearl. The level of detail on this bed has Kari excited and curious to see what the expert will say about it. I was very happy to see Kari come out and look at my antiques or antiquities. She was pleasantly surprised with what she saw. I'm going to get the bed appraised to see if Carolyn made the right investment. I love that bed, but um, I bought it for an investment value. It just has such this amazing feeling and it just, the smell in here is just, it's awesome. It's very earthy and... I'm very at peace in here, I like it. Kari is constantly on the lookout for new treasures at her estate sales, flea markets, and salvage yards. This old fashioned telephone table was one of her recent finds. I can't believe somebody didn't find this piece. Look how cute it is, it's a little telephone table. You set it up, you sit down, and you yak. Kari adopts these discarded items and transforms them into gems that find their way into her store. All this is gonna have to be sanded off. I got all of the varnish off. You can see all the stain that's come through the wood. And if I want any paint to stick to it, we'll have to apply a layer of oil-based primer because all of this stain is gonna bleed through. Kari brought back some awesome fabric from an estate sale. And this is what we decided to put on the seat. It has a metallic look to it, so I chose a pale gray and then I'm gonna use a pewter glaze. You can't use the glaze over the primer, it wouldn't look right. So you wanna start with a good base color and then use the glaze over the top. This is a real sheer pewter color. I didn't want it to be too dark and I wanted it to coordinate with the fabric. I usually just put it on thick and then wipe some of it off and make sure that there aren't any big drips or streaks on it. Done. And I have the fabric and the form or the seat underneath. I chose to put this at a diagonal just to be fun and a little different. The great thing about postered seats, if you get tired of them, if they get stained, you can just re-staple and add some more fabric. It'll fit just like that. I love it. Day two of the church fundraiser. From the moment the doors opened, the Mercedes was a big hit. Many customers came in just to take a look at it, but most have been tire kickers so far. What do you think, sir? I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty clean. It is, it's in very clean. good shape. I, I saw it. some rust on the other uh, oh, and the rim? rim over the, here. That's, you see what I'm saying? It's kind yeah, of corroded yeah, pretty it's, bad. It's, it's just, it's peeling off. It is, it's, these are probably um, just alloy rims that are dipped in chrome. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think they're solid all the way. Yeah. Okay. Do you uh, want to leave an offer or? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home and think about it. Uh, okay. You know, I don't live far, so. We're gonna be here until five. I'll get back. Okay. Okay, thanks. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. All right. Have a good one. Like, do you sell the car yet, Mom? <laughs> oh, we will. Don't you worry <laughs> about that. She is here. How about four? Okay, sounds perfect. Yeah, I'm purchasing these clothing to ship to Africa at a small country called Gambia. The Gambia is my home country, and charity begins at home. How often do you send? I send every month. You do? Yeah. Do you send like a shipping container or? Yeah, I, ship, I send a shipping container, yeah. Oh wow, that's excellent. I started this um, venture about five years ago, and I sent about a million pieces of shoes to Africa. Oh wow, that's yeah. excellent. Yeah. Do you take eyeglasses and everything? Do they need? Yes, I do. They need everything, I'm assuming. Anything that we can use in Africa, I do take. All these um, funds will be going to the church, and the church in turn supports our community, our, our neighborhood also, in revitalizing our people over here. Hi, folks. Good morning. Welcome. Hi there. Oh, stained glass. <laughs> Maybe we could use that for your house. Oh, Michael, we have to have this uh, That is $35. <gasps> okay. 
Let's have it. Yeah. You want to have that? Yeah. Take it. Yeah, it. Oh, here's an urn thing. This is only ten dollars, Michael. All right, that will be <laughs> one thirty, and that's what everything that you got today. Kari's friend Chuck has a business in the community. He came by the sale to see if he can get involved. You can buy some stuff and donate it too. Right? Okay. And most of our, our skating rinks is, you know, young children, families coming out to have a good time. So we make our living off of that. So we just like to donate a little something back. There's actually um, a safe house that needs furniture. And there's a couple here that's part of this church okay. that actually lives in this home. And there's other families that live there. It's like a transitional mm -hmm. home, that gets them off the street helps them find a job, they have a small baby. So they need furniture. This is a really nice couch. This is in good condition. We can do that. Okay, perfect. How about maybe a rug for him? That'd be great. That would kind of warm it up a little bit, you know, and maybe if we could find a table. Oh, that's perfect. Here, perfect. We'll, we'll move the chair over. And then they'll have a whole living room. I'm Kari, uh, this woman right here was wondering if there's any possibility of doing like a package deal for all of these clothes. Okay. They would like to donate it to the school. Oh wow, absolutely. So, these are are these uniforms? Uniforms, um, yeah, for the kids to wear to school. This they call us to wear beige. This beige, they wear the black and the navy blue. Well, we can definitely give you a deal. Let's count them all up, put them together, and we'll give you a great price. Okay. Okay? Okay. Especially since you're donating it to the school. I think that's excellent. Thank you. Now we have some uniforms for the summertime. My kids can also stay in our uniform wear. There's something I really enjoy doing is putting that into our community. She was talking to me about uniforms, the reason why kids wear uniforms, so they can all be one, they can be the same. There's no bullying, there's no teasing. She found exactly what she was looking for, they needed summer uniforms. This is perfect. I feel really good about it. It's the pastor's car, and he decided to put it in the sale and get rid of his baby. That sounds good. Cool. Just to give you an idea that it does run. Bring him on by. Let me tell you the deal. We, we, we do want to get rid of it today. While the customer gets her son to look at the car, Kari goes back to check on her bike. The bike needed some fender work and new bearings in the back wheel. Kari's mechanics polished it up, got the rear brakes working, and tuned the spokes so that the wheels roll straight. They gave it 1960-style white wall tires and bow-style pedals. They did a fantastic job of restoring it to its original glory. Antiques expert Paul Haig has come to give an appraisal on Carolyn's investment. As we look at Carolyn's day bed here, this is an amazing piece of Chinese art. This piece, I believe, is 19th century. It could be earlier, could be a little later, but I would say generally about 1850, 1870 on this piece from looking at it. This is like a little personal apartment. A family or parts of a family, and especially the women, would spend sometimes half or more of their day inside this little compartmented area. And you see these plain panels here? Those would be complemented to make it a personal space for each person by scrolls or by beautiful textiles. Now, this piece is so large. How many people do you think it took to carve this? I mean, how long did it take? This was probably done by a very large workshop, and this could take up to a year for a whole group of people to carve. Somebody would do the structure, other people would do the carving, other people would do the joinery. This piece all comes apart in pegs. This whole piece can come apart and be transported by, at that point, it would be transported by an ox cart. And they would take it apart and reassemble it. What are some of the other uses of this space? Well, if we want to sensationalize this piece, we call it an opium bed because, of course, opium was used especially during the last part of the Qing Dynasty. A lot of wealthy Chinese would smoke opium. Age affects the price as much as anything else. Secondarily is the overall quality of the piece. If I look at realized prices on similar objects in auctions and at sales, I would go from 20 to maybe 25,000 on this.
Carolyn bought this bed as an investment. From that estimate, she can sleep easy knowing that she did the right thing. At the church, the fundraiser is going strong, but sisters Anna and Shelly still hope to sell us a tea and the car to reach their goal for the sale. The customer who was interested brought her son back to have a peek, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it sells. Beautiful car. It's really nice shape. You started up, right? Yeah, he started it up. It's a strong end. Yeah. How you doing? I'm great, I'm great. I'm You're interested in the settee? It's a beautiful piece. It's just so, period. It sits really well, and it's just an elegant piece. Very Absolutely. Elegant. Do you have a spot for it? Well, um, when, I'm, when I just finished my degree work, I want to open a home for runaways, and this will go in my office. Oh, very this, nice. This will go in my office. Very nice. Well, we're asking 600. That seems reasonable. Many customers came in throughout the sale to look at the settee, but today, somebody finally bought it on the spot. With the settee sold, Carr is going to see how Mo is doing with the car. Okay, put me down for 16. Yeah? Yeah. If you want it, we can take care of it right now. So did you decide you're gonna take it home with you? She said she wants it. <laughs> Where are you at price-wise? 16. 1600? Yeah, okay. he said that's fine. We sold we the car. We sold the car. Did our dad let us sell it. Woo. For three days, Kari and a team of volunteers worked hard at the church sale. They sold over $4,300, well over the original sales goal. The best part is, it'll all go to charity. I think that Kari and Paula brought an awesome amount of energy to the sale. They was always happy and they were smiling with us all the time as well. Don't make me cry! Stop doing stuff! No! You don't make me cry! I'm not a, I'm not a cry baby. 